So I looked at the logs last time and uh, I indeed had 85 pounds on the side. So unfortunately for me, it's time to go up and wait. So I'm just gonna go up a measly five pounds and uh, see what we could accomplish. I'm scared. I watched the video from last session and oh my God, it was violent, it was brutal. It's, it puts the fear in you, puts the fear in me, watching myself do that, knowing I have to beat it this time, but beat it we shall, beat it we shall. What's up, heavy duty crew? We're here again at the Acadiana Muscle. It is Monday, August 26th. We'll be training arms and back today. It's time to get dense and intense. We got 16 weeks until nationals. That's right, we're gonna shoot for it. We're gonna shoot for the pro card. Now, I'm perfectly reasonable in my state of mind that I think top five in a heavyweight class, that would be stellar. But despite uh, worried about whether I'm gonna be able to actually afford to go or not, I'm just gonna treat it like I'm going. So I realized that it's 16 weeks out this weekend. I look good enough to start, huh? I think so. So I decided to uh, get rid of all that freaking body hair I had and see what I look like underneath. So now I'll start wearing clothes like this again because the, uh, the texture and quality of my skin is gonna be much better that I'm not covered in oily hair and sweat all day in the Louisiana sun. So I think the menu is gonna be the same today. Low angle row, bicep of choice. We're gonna hit a single. We're gonna go back to an isolateral pull down and I may even add something for rear delts today after the pull down just because I remember in my side chest from 2020 the rear delts coming off of the coming off of the tricep were so immense and uh, now that my arms are bigger it's not as apparent I'd like to bring that area up so we're gonna put it in there we're gonna shoot for it so I'm gonna do a little warming up and uh, then we'll get started so see you guys in the top set all right here we are top set of our low angle rows we don't have much more room to progress I had a 35 on the end uh, last session I got over 10 reps almost 11 so it's time to jump into the next rep range. So my only choice was to go up 10 pounds a side as I couldn't fit smaller plates on the end after the 35. So here we go, four plates a side, we got it maxed out. Um, I'll figure out how to progress in the future on it. Probably gonna use bands, which will add more load in the contracted position, which I like, that'll be cool. So I attended a bodybuilding show this weekend, watched two guys who are lauded as two of the best bodybuilders in the state go at it. And uh, my wife's over in the corner going, like, not really, Bill. Not really, babe. I could have jumped in that show. I could have shaved, got a tan, and probably won. Maybe not the overall. Tony would have probably taken me for sure in conditioning because he was just, you know, prepping for a show, actually trying. What I saw makes me feel really confident in what we're doing here. You know, I, I know I competed twice in the last two months, uh, eight weeks or whatever. Really proved myself, proved the methods, showed the improvements learned a hell of a lot as well. And all that to say, I'm just super stoked moving forward with uh, my career as a bodybuilder. You know, I'm very confident in what I'm gonna be able to do and accomplish. And this is why, right here behind me, this kind of shit right here, training heavy, training hard, maximum effort all the time, giving myself plenty of rest, being methodical, being intelligent, being thoughtful in everything I do. But I suspect that this prep is gonna produce a completely different result. We're not crunched for time. We're starting off in a health. We're, we're starting off in a two to four weeks out body composition. So it's gonna be really slow and steady, periods of pushing, periods of taking rest and recuperation. And it's gonna be incredible. But yeah, watching those two guys compete this weekend, you know, one of them I've been dying to get on stage with so I could measure myself next to this fellow. And there's no, there's no comparison. And if you're watching this brother, don't take offense to it. I know what I got. You've got gifts, but I know what I've got. And uh, that excites me. I can't wait to bring it to the national stage. As a heavyweight, as a heavyweight bodybuilder, not a light heavyweight, I'm not a classic physique competitor. This is the real deal right here. So let's manifest it. And like last week, we got our blocks in as our starting point. Really love that. So let's fucking crank. Yep, but my seat position wasn't as good as it should have been. I need to uh, maybe pick it up next time or look at the footage and see where it was on the last set, but uh, we hit the upper back. I for sure feel it across the top there. All right, so I looked at the logs last time and uh, I indeed had 85 pounds on the side and I went for like 11, almost 12 reps. So unfortunately for me, it's time to go up and wait. 
So I'm just gonna go up a measly five pounds and uh, see what we could accomplish. I'm scared. I watched the video from last session and oh my God, it was violent, it was brutal. <laughs> it's, it puts the fear in you, puts the fear in me watching myself do that knowing I have to beat it this time, but beat it we shall, beat it we shall. So let's put on the extra five. We're running out of space to move up on this equipment. We're gonna start with our weak side first. That's the name of the game, right? Prioritization, I don't have much to say about it guys. Yeah, five pounds is a lot when you're using that much effort to get it up. Maybe we got seven and eight reps. Maybe less, I don't know, fucking hard to count. I'll have to go back on that, but failure at the negative. Let's keep it rolling. So now it's gonna be loud in here because uh, I had no air flowing in this place and that was brutal. I like, I straight up just got hot and it was like, uh, this is affecting my training. So <laughs> I made the air flow. Yeah, that set of arms, that set of biceps, holy smokes. All it takes is one, man, when you do it right. All it takes is one when you do it right. So let's see if we can do it right on lats. I don't remember what our previous set of uh, isolaterals is. That was like two colored in, two spilled on logbooks ago. When you got kids, you can't keep shit nice, man. You can't have nothing. Oh yeah, just keep it in your bag, Bill. Now yeah, they dig in the bag. Oh, why don't you put it up in a drawer or a cabinet? Yeah, well, they get in there too. If I remember what episode of Path of the Primark it was on, I'd look it up, but you guys barely watch the show. How am I supposed to watch it? She's trying to talk to me while I'm filming with headphones on. I'm listening to Job for a Cowboy. Trying to film a training video with this loud ass fan on, and this woman's gonna talk to me across the gym. Hey, you guys wanna see some, you wanna see a big back? Hey, check this out. Ah! 
That took so much effort. That took all of my effort. The sweat just falling off my arms. I couldn't even hold on to it anymore, you know? I couldn't stop it from going up. Heavy duty crew. This shit's hard. Here we are. We're gonna finish off the day with a tricep push down with the easy bar. Again, I like the way the hands feel on it. It gives me a nice, good base to push off of. It makes my wrists feel stable. It makes the movement feel more stable. It feels like there's less perception of effort and more true uh, transition of energy you know my effort is actually being applied to the implement and not making things feel right not stabilizing and all that jazz you'll notice a lot of recurring themes in the training guys because it's really fucking simple I mean I did four sets today this will be number four but you get the point I'm stalling and I'm balling all right let's hit it I wish I had an option that gave me that feeling in the triceps, but a little more stable. Obviously, I'm having to stand up and brace myself. And you saw I started shaking and I couldn't lock in enough to extend the arm. So I gave myself a rest pause. I was able to get out three more reps. But again, I don't think I've ever been that heavy on a push down. So that was a winner. Well, guys, simple workout. I decided that I didn't need the rear delts. They're pumped. They were hit. They were hit on the rowing movements. I even felt my triceps on that pull down. So coming here and hitting one set. Not an issue with it. Using the biceps on the pull downs, all the rows as well. So the one set of biceps, absolutely sufficient. One set of triceps, absolutely sufficient. Prioritize the upper back. Gave the lats more attention by using an isolateral. So yeah, good workout. Absolutely smoked. Whew. Catch you guys next time.